everybody welcome back to a new video today it's all be like the part two of my battle of prom impression in which i'll show my personal items for the impression or yeah they're pretty standard for every impression so i'll go over everything in my uniforms and in my m6 not on the gp bag because that's not really a personal item it's more for utility items and this is where i carry my non-combat stuff let's just call it that so let's get into it starting with shirt and we'll go from bottom to top okay so let's start right here with the shirt in the right pocket we got a yank magazine is really useful to read or useful not really but you know it kills time pretty well so yeah this is just a magazine from Yank with the latest articles of the war about the war so yeah there's quite a lot of text in this this is a reproduction of one but uh, it's yeah it's a copy of an original so it's pretty nice Next up right here we got matches and a Western Union telegram. This is just like a letter but with a typewriter. Um, this could be sent to you. You could let it be typed for you and send it out. Here we have a piece of plain white paper to write on or you know whatever you would need it for. I have got a drawing in here. I did of a soldier. You know, in your free time, you can draw a bit. And next up, this is like, not really useful in combat itself, but it's a leaflet on how to do a dance, a certain dance, you know, you can learn it. It has a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial on how to do it. So, yeah, it could be nice if you're on leave or whatever here we have the more uh, official pocket let's say or official documents pocket well here it's just whatever so starting here we have a pack of cigarettes you know these are not real I don't really smoke but you can light them well these not but I have others that you can I'll show you in a minute but yeah, these are just some smokes from your K-ration. K -ration. I keep it like a pack in every layer, so I always have some, and these will definitely stay dry. I have a booklet to write in. Yeah, you can write whatever you want in this, useful or just as a diary. Uh, a train ticket. This is for London trains. You would get issued this uh, when, for when you're on leave or when you were in training for London. It's yeah, still in there. A key to my house, let's say. It's not really, but you might have this as a memory. Uh, here you have your pay record, you know, with all your payment information. Uh, just your identification card and here is a, a sort of newspaper but it's from the Red Cross so it's not really about news it's just news about the Red Cross if I can open it up here see you can read about it it's you know it's pretty interesting it's just about the care and stuff and what the red cross does for the war effort here we go here yeah, i have some medical tape you can use this for all types of things in the battle of prum there are pictures of soldiers taping what looks to be this around their helmet for identification I haven't done this, but you could do it. 
it's pretty cool and of course for the taping bandages and stuff shut and here's just dice to play a game i usually have two but i think i lost one so now let's get on to the hpt jacket and trousers okay so here we have the hpt jacket let's start with again the right pocket on the screen is left yeah The HPT jacket is mainly just for rations because it's perfect for it and I don't want to carry too much personal items because it would be unrealistic so I really carry a lot of stuff they would really carry because they really need it, you know? So in this pocket it's not really full, see it's already empty but we have some stuff. We got a K ration supper. It's pretty bad shape, I have to re-glue it sometime. And a French language guy. These it's these are both reproductions. This is bought. This is homemade, along with a lot of my other stuff in my pockets is just homemade. So yeah, these are French language guides. In the point of the Battle of Prum, you wouldn't really need it anymore. But since you know we've been in, they have been in France, so they might have kept it and still continued learning French because it can be useful. So yeah, it's pretty cool. That's already it for this pocket. As you can see, not a lot in here. But then in the left pocket, there's a little bit more personal items in the empty K-Direction box, which keeps it dry. So that's it. We got a straw bandage, a roller, uh, you know, if you have like an ankle that is twisted or whatever, you could have a small bandages, bandage around it. Some more matches, I really keep a lot of matches because this is really useful. Um, these are just with the regular ones, not with the match books itself, I can't quite seem to find those. <clears throat> and here we have, yeah, another inner box. So let's go over it a bit. As you can see, you have like a yeah, pretty destroyed box, but that doesn't matter. So we got gum. We have. All my layers are not all, but let's say about half are in here, written to someone or received. We have some your American dollars, can do a lot with them but in Germany, but yeah, still. So in this small little box, which was a ministers box, or something like it, I forgot. And we have some more stuff, more gun, toilet paper, this is not really easy accessible so I just want to use it it's all spare items that you have more of in other pockets, so, okay, finally, that's it, so we have another bandage, small one, for whatever, some invasion one, and that's it see nothing too important just what you need let's put it away so we can reach under here to my trousers uh, these are all filled with you know um, quick combat items we have ammo box with tracers, handkerchiefs, this is a dirty rag for my gun, uh, yeah, another rag for a handkerchief, and an extra one, all for cleaning, whatever you could need it for. 
on the other side here, it's quite the same. We have more ammo. This is just regular uh, pair of gloves. These are just the uh, standard wool gloves. Jeep cap. And here is the other glove. And that's it. You know, I don't overfill these because that would be uncomfortable and, you know, too bulky. So I just keep it simple with this. So yeah, let's now go over to the M43 jacket. Okay, so the M43 jacket is the most filled, obviously, because it's on the outside. Most easy accessible. Most easily accessible. So here we go. With the same order of pockets again. This one is pretty full with papers and other stuff. Okay, so that's it. We got a pocket knife, always useful for everything, basically. It's just a regular one. Uh, it's not really old or something, it's just a pocket knife. Gum. This is a packet of six sugar cubes I keep in this small wrapping paper. Just dominoes. More matches. Chewing gum. A uh, pocket guide to Britain, you know. To read again, to learn a bit about Britain. A picture of, yeah, basically you probably, but it would be yourself. A picture of you in wherever you were. More matches, cigarettes, toothbrush. Uh, this is just a wood one in the case for the fork. These were in the haversack, you know, for your fork. But, you know, I threw my fork away and just used this for my toothbrush. Empty white writing paper, or for writing or drawing plans. A captured salt book for that I took with a German I killed. So, yeah. I filled it a bit in. There's still some Reich's money inside, or Reich's mark. Just a regular Wehrmacht. And here we have an empty tea ration box. And you might wonder why I keep empty boxes, but I use these to cover the muzzle of my gun. This is really useful. They, it keeps right. If you fall, it won't get all the uh, the barrel won't get stuck full with mud. So yeah, it's really useful. Um, here we have some more toilet paper and some, yeah, excess rope. So as you can see, it's pretty loaded. Here we have the other side. Let's get it all out. It's way less than we need before. Okay, we have a Zippo, just an off-brand one, this one, yeah, but can be useful, I prefer to use matches because that's what they would have mostly done, but if there's too much wind, you know, I just use that. More smokes, more smokes, empty pack. This is, again, if my Zippo fails to work. I just use a modern one. I keep this at the bottom so nobody can see it. This is like the only modern item I have. But it's, it's sometimes it's just necessary because the Zippo or, or the matches just don't work. Small writing pencil. Chewing gum. A spoon. You know, it's an original spoon. Keep it in my pocket since I don't carry the haversack and it's close on me. And all my letters are here inside one 
and blue. So, as you can see, way less stuff. Okay, so for the lower pocket, as you can see, I already took it out. I was busy and a pack of my biscuits exploded in my pocket, so there were cookie crumbles everywhere. So, yeah, I cleaned that up first, and now let's go over it. As you can see, quite a pile. It seems more than it is when you get it all out. But let's start here. So, yeah, this is my ammo and gun cleaning pocket. Here we have a ammo box, like in my HBT trousers. That's opened. Still got five rounds inside. These are deactivated. For the grand, I'm just keeping them here. You know, might have been using. There's five volt left when you fill, fill your clips. A D-ration. Uh, this is self -nomide. You know what I could have in the first aid packet, but here I have some spare packets like this. Okay, so this is like one of those. Uh, inside is the, the red or blue cover with the flap you can tear off if you know what it is. But yeah, I got some of those. These are always useful. There's no medic around. You can just do it. It's just some, uh, some yeah, cleaning for the wound basically. We have a little patch that I can use if I have a hole in my uniform, I can just patch it up. Uh, here is a small tool pouch, which I use to keep more stuff dry. Not really for tools, because it's really small. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I have inside of there. Okay. So, we got... Some toilet paper and money. I'll try and get it out of the seas up in there. Okay, we got it. So, first of all, here we got a lot of cleaning patches for your rifle. Clean in there, you won't get dirty. Um, money, German money, matches, and toilet paper. That's all what's in there. Here we have a rag, more empty deration boxes for my barrel, wound tablets, Reich's marks, uh, spare laces, here is a pair of original laces, and a grand clip, a leather, more patches for cleaning, and a piece of gum, some rope, but this is like, this was to keep my patches together. And here we have an extra rag, and inside is my razor. So yeah, a whole lot. But it's not too heavy, though it works. This is my hygiene pocket. This one is not too full. So we have some uh, modern shaving cream with modern toothpaste inside, but it's you know hidden. A piece of white paper, another box of D ration chocolate, a filled D ration bar. Um, this is first aid, you know, band aids. As you can see, these are in red covers or wrappers. And there's also some spare medical tape inside. Toothpaste. Um, a spare clip, you know, when your belt is full. Always useful to have an, just that extra clip. 
and some badge and that's all for my infantry uniform so yeah that's it for that let's get on to my trousers my wool trousers and then as last the m6 gas mask bag okay so in here i really do not have a lot because this is underneath my hbt trousers so basically impossible to get your hands to we have just a handkerchief small square and yeah that's already it for this pocket in this small watch pocket i sometimes keep coins but mostly nothing and in here we have another dirty rag and handkerchief and that's it so yeah, nothing much lastly here we got the m6 gas mask bag this one is pretty packed because this would be your main bag let's go over it we have a scarf useful it's still cold it's february so yeah scarf would be useful another k ration this adds to my three days worth work of rations in my pockets and bags a leather a newspaper this one dates to 1943 but it's just pretty average topic or a common topic nothing too major rope R a fuel can for heating rations sewing thread two pairs of socks some spare helmet net parts you know and here we have a wrapped up handkerchief rag with some stuff inside being a shaving brush here as you can see there's a shaving brush in here a soap bar and a Nisbet burner to cook. So yeah, here we have a sewing kit, and wrapped in it, and it's wrapped in a gas flap of an M37 wool shirt. So I can use this cloth as a re replacement for holes or whatever to fix it up. It's close with this bobby uh, pin safety pin so as you can see it's the gas flap inside the sewing kit is just the base so we need the necessities As you can see, we got some buttons, some safety pins, thread needles, as you can see, scissor, and here's some more thread. Next up, spare pack of cigarettes, legging laces, wind rain, need this anymore since I wear double buckles, but you know, they kept them. More spare cloth, fresh tablets, fuel tablets, a bandage, more thick rope, and then here we got more rush tablets and a tooth and a toothbrush which I use for cleaning. It's 
And that's it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This was a pretty long video, but we did have a lot to go over. My room is a mess. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I helped maybe some of y'all out to know what a soldier could carry in his pockets. So yeah, thank you for watching.